<laughs> All right, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Shout out to uh, Mr. Payne, Yusuf Mambo, and Nor in the house. Now, I wanted to deal with this story, uh, uh, focus on this story. Okay, I don't want to talk about a story like this in a live stream that includes several other stories. And I'm just, you know, going over them briefly and then moving on. Okay, even though. There are a lot of stories that deserve attention. I think some deserve more attention than others. And this is one of those stories. Okay. How many more stories like this do all the dog moms need to hear? All the single ladies in the house. How many stories of little petite women or you know heavy set women women period how many stories of these women having their dog turn on them do you need to hear before you smarten up and stop acquiring these things and locking yourself inside of a home with them Now, when you think about it, do you really need anybody to tell you that? You shouldn't need nobody to tell you that. All right, this is common sense stuff. People just need to smarten up, stop being airheaded and dumb. It's time to evolve, people. Stop riding on what you've been taught and what sounds good, what's supposed to be. Hold everything up to very basic, simple scrutiny. So this took place in Perth. The neighbors are said to have watched and they could not help. Neighbors reveal how they could only watch in horror as a young woman, Nikita Pill, was savagely mauled by her own Rottweilers. They had to wait for the cops to show up, first of all. Secondly, had to beg the cops to shoot the dogs. Well, these people were her neighbors, right? Isn't that right? Let's deal with the negative backlash or the downside to not being an anti-dog person. Let's examine what your life will be like if you are not one of us, if you're a dog lover. These people who watched in horror, unable to help this woman, these were her neighbors, right? Yes. I am sure those neighbors of hers knew that she owned those two Rottweilers, right? Oh, definitely. I'm sure. They've seen her come outside that home with those Rottweilers. They've seen those dogs. And you mean tell me they did not have a gun prepared for the day that they might have to shoot those dogs in self-defense? Well, obviously not. So these neighbors of hers were just as unprepared as she was. So they were not anti-dog people. If they were anti-dog people, they would make sure they were armed. Not only armed, they'd make sure they had a gun. Something ready to neutralize that thing if their neighbor with two Rottweilers, who clearly is incapable of controlling these things, loses control and they're trying to attack me. Let me get me a pistol. Let me get me a shank. Okay, or something. These two were unprepared because they were not anti-dog people. If they were, they probably could have saved her life. She'd probably get a second chance. Wow. Okay, you, there's no benefit to buying into this delusion and treating dogs, pretending that they're harmless. No benefit in that. Police forced to shoot one dog. 
Woman is uh, undergoing emergency surgery. Okay, so she didn't die. Okay, so I put the wrong... Y'all have to forgive me. I'm sharing uh, inaccurate information over here. Well, now y'all can see I'm tired. I was about to get on here and start this live stream off by informing all of you that I am exhausted. And I'm dead serious. I feel the exhaustion. It's a lot of work, man. These people are keeping me busy. So now you see the evidence of that. I'm up here sit, putting out wrong information. The woman is not dead. Let me correct myself live. The woman is not dead. And I'm glad she's not dead. Okay? Because I want to talk to her. I want to see this video. So sorry about that. Look at that. I put Nikita kill, Pill killed. <laughs> oh, Lord. She's alive. I'm going to have to change that after the uh, live stream. She's undergoing emergency surgery after being mauled by her two Rottweilers while her neighbors watching in horror. Nikita Pill was set upon by the dogs and they share the dogs' names. Wow. Now I point that out because that's the media's attempt to humanize the dogs. The neighbor said all I was hearing was help, help, please help. I was contemplating, contemplating jumping the fence and getting in there to try to rescue her. But obviously there were two Rottweilers in there. So? You're the supervisor. You're the adult supervision. Now, I know not literally, but if you were the dog owner, the law would say that you are adequate as supervision for a child. In other words, it's your job by law. It's your job, young man, to be able to neutralize these things. And you couldn't. You were so scared. You were so terrified. You didn't even try. Didn't even get in there. That means that that woman who was being attacked shouldn't have been in there herself. Okay, so her being attacked and their inability to stop the attack is all the uh, result of them not being anti-dog people, being nutters. This is where being a nutter gets you. Have you screaming in pain, begging for help, seeing your life flash before you, saying your prayers? What, what an ungrateful, mutant, turd-faced monster, both of them. Is this their way of thanking this woman for providing them with free food for all these years? Now, all you nutters, I want y'all to get in here. Look at this woman. Uh, y'all mean to tell me that you assume that this woman abused those dogs? Do you, is that what y'all want us to believe? Because y'all assume, y'all make these assumptions anyways. Okay, let's accept that. You want to assume that owners who are attacked by their own dogs had abused them at some point. You want us to believe that? Okay. Okay, if that's okay. I'm just saying that's hard to believe. I don't believe this woman raised these dogs with violence or aggression. I don't believe it. I believe she is one of those dog mom type people and she was not influenced by DMX or none of these other rappers. OK, she was not listening, bopping her head to DMX and, and was in, then inspired to go get a Rottweiler. It's one of them dog moms and little young ladies who want to replace a boyfriend with a dog. So this is and she raised these things with hugs and kisses. That's what happened and probably a little bit more. I didn't have a knife. I didn't have anything really good to take this dog out. This is still a quote from the neighbor. The neighbor said, I only had a bat. All I could really do was watch this girl get mauled apart while I'm smacking the fence. That's pathetic. Let's listen to the video. That's pathetic. That's pathetic. You, you should be ashamed of yourself. And men, what's wrong with you? Why bring something into society that will punk you, have you this nervous, shaking, trembling in your boots, scared to save a woman under attack, scared to save a child? Now, this little tiny, skinny little woman under attack, these two men scared to get in there and help. 
Now, if that was a baby under attack, guess what? These two men would still be scared to get in there help. If that was a little a baby, an infant, a newborn, sitting there crying, being mauled. They would have been too scared to get in there and help. How can you be so savage and stupid to put yourself in a position like that? You primitive idiots. You primitive idiots. Contemplating jumping a fence. Now, let's listen to this. Oh. Sound like two gunshots. All I could really do is just watch this girl get mauled apart while I'm smacking the fence. Look at, look at the scene. Some out of horror movie, right? Neighbors come outside. They're looking down. You hear scream. Ah! Then you hear gunshot. Ah! Gunshot. This is straight out of a horror movie. And this is the type of scene that nutters bring into communities. Is it not? Yes, it is. I'm not sitting here bad mouthing all you dog lovers. I'm not. I'm sitting here simply pointing out what you do. And people, more, more people need to talk about what you do. All I could really do is just watch this girl get mauled apart while I'm smacking the fence. Sitting there, sitting there scared. Look at, you know what? This was her neighbor. I bet you he's pet those dogs before. Good boy, good boy. He's probably pet those dogs before. He's probably told people, yeah, my neighbor has Rottweilers. They're really good dogs, well-trained. I bet you these behaviors would have said, oh, these are really wonderful, lovely dogs. They would have said that. Had they met this woman with her dogs, had they gone into her house, the dogs had not attacked them, right? Spent 10, 15 minutes inside the home and these Rottweilers had not attacked them those behaviors will say, oh, these dogs are lovely. And there you go. Another neighbor turned a hose on the dogs. Start throwing water on it. Here again, yet again, they're throwing water onto the dog. Completely, you know they're unprepared when they're dousing it with water. That is pathetic. The dog stopped for a bit and it was looking at me, deciding what to do next. I kept screaming at it and smacking the fence. Then it decided to stuff you and it got the girl and dragged her behind the back corner. And that's when I was like, oh no, police paramedics arrived, but were still not able to stop the dogs savaging their defenseless owner. Now, why would they be doing this? Why didn't they stop? Why didn't they snap out of it? Why didn't it hit them that they were launching a deadly attack? And understand, the dogs, they are fully aware that they're launching a deadly attack. Because remember, when dogs handle their uh, newborns, when they want to discipline them, they bite them. But they make sure not to bite hard, not to break the skin. What is it? They call it like teething or whatever. And they say that when dogs play with you, the owner, they'll do that too. They'll give you these little soft bites. They're like little, uh, they call it something. So when a dog is attacking you and mauling you, it knows it's trying to kill you. It knows what death is. It knows what living and dying is. So why would they be trying to kill this woman, this woman who has been kissing them, right? Feeding them for so many years. Isn't that inhumane? Yes, it is. And that is not typical uh, inhumane behavior that comes from people. 
That level of inhumanity comes from dogs. Again, there's nothing about these things that's admirable. Nothing at all. Okay, I always have to lash out at this dog culture. I hate the way they elevate dogs. That's so special. Everybody should have one. These are the saviors. And you create laws around protecting these things. So you putting it in the laws reflecting this idea that they're special, that they're valuable to us. Get out of here. You need to, okay. So the neighbor, the police arrived, paramedics, they weren't able to stop the attack. So the officer said, you need to get your gun out and shoot this dog. It's going to kill her. Even tasering the dog failed to stop the attack. So these dogs were killing this woman, had already injured her. By the time the police showed up, I'm sure she had very bad injuries by the time the police showed up. And you mean to tell me the neighbors had to then tell the cops, hey, hey, you might want to pull out your gun and shoot the dogs? Why? Because the cop was so dense and such a nutter themselves, they pulled out a taser. <gasps> Let's try to taser it first. No kill shelter. We don't want a fatality, a dog fatality. So they actually most likely caused her to sustain additional damage. Because the time they took trying to taser it, they could have shot it and stopped the attack. So because they were not anti-dog people, she probably sustained even more damage. Is that a fair statement or not? Why do these people kill me? I, and, you know, I see y'all's comments in your videos. These people come and they, oh, that IHD, that guy in his con game. Just shut up. I'm just pointing out what y'all are doing. Wow. Had to tell this cop to shoot these dogs. They standing there throwing water on them. On her Facebook, Miss Pill shows her affection for pet Rottweilers, wishing them happy birthdays and calling them her babies. I believe that. I believe she was calling them her babies and I don't believe she abused them. Nope, not at all. She wasn't behind closed doors abusing these things. And you out of your mind for assuming that she was. And you have no right, no room you're not justified to assume that the previous owner of these things was abusive to them. They just did what they're wired to do, what's in their nature to do as mutants. And that is to launch unprovoked attacks just to attack, just for sport. And understand, they attacked her just to do something, just for sport. She hadn't done none of these things. Nothing other than give them free food, their whole worthless, good-for-nothing lives. Now you see why I name my channel, I Hate Dogs. They deserve to be hated. And, and anything that uh, you hate, you always express your hate for it by getting rid of it. No matter what it is. You express your hate for it by getting rid of it. And should we get rid of these things? Absolutely. At the very least, all fighting breeds. And notice, it's usually the fighting breeds that turn on their owners like this. Y'all notice that. It's usually the fighting breeds that turn on their owners. When you hear about dog attacks on their own owners, it's, used, it's almost virtually always a fighting breed. And Rottweilers are fighting breeds. They're bully breeds. Fearing for the woman's life, one of the officers pulled out his gun and shot it. Oh no, shut up. He wasn't fearing for her life that much, else he would have shot it in the first place. He wouldn't have wasted time trying to use a taser. And there you go, more proof that a taser is worthless, especially when these things are in attack mode. Now understand, when Rottweilers launch an attack, it's just like the other bully breeds. Its brains start to release all these chemical chemicals, feel good chemicals, uh, uh, opioids, and they can't feel pain. 
And again, a Rottweiler is just like a Bully XL, people. Generally, Rottweilers are larger than pit bulls, right? Another mutant variant of the fighting breed. Dogs built for war, bred for war. In the words of that nutter behaviorist. Due to the extremely aggressive nature of the dogs and the ongoing risk to human life, a police firearm was discharged to stop the attack. The dog was seriously injured and rangers were called to take it to a veterinary hospital to waste more money on it. Why not, you know, instead, why don't you just pump it with a few more bullets, then just throw it in a ditch somewhere. Throw it somewhere, get rid of it. Be wasting more of our resources on this thing. After it just tried to kill this one. What is wrong with you? These brainless creatures just uh, turn on their owner. Just been dumping, wasting resources on these things. You shoot them. And now you want to waste more resources on these shot dogs? It's real smart. The dog was seriously injured. Okay. Officers manager managed to secure the other dog. In the garage, as Miss Peel was rushed to the hospital, suffering severe wounds to her arms and legs. She's currently in a serious but stable condition in Royal Perth Hospital, but doctors were preparing to perform emergency surgery to save her. Emergency surgery, serious but stable. Yeah, she got torn up pretty bad hey i'm glad she's still alive because i want to ask her some questions i want to hear what she has to say after this attack most of all i want to hear if she's going to continue to be a dog lover like jacqueline duran and brooklyn curry um on her facebook she shows affection for these uh, rottweilers one photo shows two dogs standing next to some artificial turf. They dug up and Miss Pill captions, my babies with a black love heart, my babies. So typical over the top dog lover, typical. And I've been talking about these women like this, these types of owners of these fighting breeds as being some of the most uh, crazy out of their mind owners of these things there are because they're uh very much incapable of defending themselves from these things you really have no right to assume that this woman was abusive to these things and i, and I seriously doubt that she was all right uh in another photo she's kissing one of them so we know what they're yeah they're nasty she also wishes her baby a happy first birthday, another the dog. And she said, I couldn't ask for a more incredible, cheeky, loyal, intelligent, and protective little mate, she writes. Protective, huh? Protective, huh? Loyal, huh? How loyal? Do you feel you still feel protected? Do you still feel that loyalty from these dogs now? Huh? Don't it, now. Don't you think now is a good time to question how well you think you know these things, understand their brains? All this time you've been assuming that you had so much control over these things minds and behavior. Now you see they just launched an attack and they refused to stop. They never snapped out of it. The reality never hit them that they are attacking the provider. Their one and only provider, the only provider that they know of. They're killing her. Why? Why would they do that? That's the most unreasonable type of attack that that happens it's more understandable that these things go out to these farms and kill livestock even though that's very bizarre but they attack their owners just like they do these livestock don't surprise me 
More sign that these are very abnormal creatures, deranged mutants. This should be gotten rid of. These things are a disgrace to our planet. It's a disgrace to our civilization. It's a disgrace to us. These things are a disgrace to us. It makes us look bad. To live alongside with these things, treating them the same way we would other human beings. Despicable, subhuman, primitive, trash type of lifestyle right there. All right? Dog attacks were always traumatic for anyone involved. He thanked the emergency services. We'll continue to make sure we monitor situation. What situation? The attack is over. What we need to do is continue to educate dog owners and people in the community about dangers, potential dangers of these sorts of breeds. But we'll just monitor the situation. What breeds are you talking about? These sorts of breeds, you're talking about large dogs. And like I said, you let these people talk long enough, they'll make the case against dogs themselves. These sorts of breeds, you're not talking about the Bully XL this time. You're talking about Rottweilers. More large bully breeds. Oh boy, monitor the situation. Educate people. Wait a minute, continue to educate dog owners and people in the community about the dangers? Educate them how? What are you going to tell them? Tell them that you're stupid if you want to own these things. That's the only thing you can tell them. That's the only thing that makes sense to tell them. You see somebody doing something this dumb and brainless? It don't, it's not rocket science. Don't lock yourself inside of a home with a killer. <laughs> that you're unable, and this woman had two of them. There ain't much education need to be had. What she was doing wrong is very obvious. It ain't rocket science. Educate the public. That's just more stalling. Uh, we just need more time to create another loophole, create more excuses now watch we hear another excuse tomorrow. Look at the new excuses we heard this summer. That the increase in attacks is because of the hot weather. <laughs> A loud noise. Rainbow. We just discovered that dogs uh, are provoked to attack when they see rainbows. This just discovered by a team of scientists at Phoenix University. Okay, just be ready for that. Be ready to hear anything from these people. What, what happened, dog lovers? This type of person or dog lover is not supposed to be attacked. A petite little lady hugs and kisses my babies. Miss Pill, what happened? Did you abuse these dogs? Now watch her come out with a story about how these dogs were abused before she acquired them. You just watch. She's going to come out and talk about how she doesn't know what the previous owners did with them. And I bet you anything, much of her social media image is uh, based on her having these dogs. So she's going to come out of the hospital insisting to continue being a dog lover. You watch what I tell you. But if she doesn't, I'm going to take my hat off to her. I'm, I'm going to shower her with all sorts of uh, compliments and credit. Okay, because that's what she should do. And she should also become an anti-dog person herself. You just learn from hands-on experience. That these things are simply deranged, bloodthirsty creatures, hardwired to attack and get off on attacking, attack for no reason, completely unprovoked, and they don't deserve to exist because of that behavior right there. And the fact that they prefer to attack, 
kids is even more motivation for me to want them exterminated by all world governments. This is so pathetic. And this is a crazy uh, story, in my opinion. But when you do a search, as you see, I searched Rottweiler's kill owner and my live stream popped up. Okay, maybe I shouldn't write kill. Maybe it's because I put the wrong story on. Let me see. Attack owner. And I put Rottweilers, plural. Let's do a filter for today. Very recent story. Nobody's talking about it. You see that? These media outlets, nobody's talking about it. They're being real selective. You know about the stories that they want to talk about the uh stories that involve video footage like these recent attacks they have to talk about those because the people talk about them those are situations where the media oftentimes talks about it late only after the videos have gone viral and there are millions of people already talking about it but with this story we don't have video footage of the attack of this woman you know we got sort of the aftermath but we don't actually see her getting mauled so it's not going viral like that and since it's not going viral like that uh i i assume that's why the media outlets are not talking about it they're not doing broadcast about it that's pretty crazy but the story seemed to be going viral or at least close Woman mauled by her own Rottweilers before cops shot one dead. It says 15,000 people viewing this right now. Now, this is a media outlet out of the UK. And I assume... Yeah, this took place in Perth. Okay, not the United States. But hey, good thing. Hey, Dog Nutter is the same all over the world. Based on dog science and based on what everybody believes... The dog's not supposed to attack their own owners. And if they do attack their owners, according to you, according to dog logic, they only do that when that particular owner had been abusive to them, right? So I don't want to hear no stories about how it was abused by anybody else, the previous owner either. Because even if it was, that's no excuse. And that's why you have the second chance with these mutts, the no-kill shelters, because you have been saying that even if it was abused in the past, it can be rehabilitated. Just show it love and kisses. And now it's got a whole new owner who has never been abusive, only showed it love and given it free food. It should not have attacked her. You don't have no excuses. I don't want to hear about oh, it was traumatized. Oh, it was a victim of evil human mistreatment. Get out of here. Get out of here, nutters. Y'all coming on here, coming on my videos, talking stupid. Who am I? Who are you? You're asking who I am? I'm a citizen, a taxpaying citizen. And I'm on YouTube. What's your problem? You, know, you need somebody out here talking about you. Talking about your sick, uh, deceptive con that you're running on the public. All these large fighting breeds need to be banned right now. And it's the perfect atmosphere to ban them. Now is the perfect time. So I'm going to keep an eye on this story. And keep an ear out for whatever she has to say after this attack. And whether or not she's going to continue being a, a dog lover. And there's a lot going on, as you all know. And... Uh, I'm going to um, be back very, very soon. I'm going to be back here very, very soon. So be on the lookout. And uh, again, any uh, input that the members want to uh, add, go ahead, send an email, or you can leave a uh, comment and leave a star at the end of your comment if you would like it to be included into the uh next live stream you don't have to write nothing out or say nothing 
just leave a star and I'll be sure to include it. And I hope to see all of you back here on the next live stream as we continue with this crusade.